Hi, I'm Tamara with Wyoming Dutch Oven Cooking. Welcome to our channel today. Of course, once again, I'm bragging. We're not up in snowy Wyoming. We're down here in beautiful Arizona. But what I'm doing today is something that we always do up in the mountains when we're up camping, and it is so easy. What you do is just prepare everything at home, get it all ready, take it up in the mountains, and cook it in your Dutch oven. And what we're doing today is a buttermilk herb biscuit. And what I've done ahead of time is I've measured my flour out, my seasonings, my baking powder and everything in this bag. And then I always bring along a little bit of extra flour because you're gonna put this on your cutting board and cut them out. So right now, my briquettes are getting hot. We're gonna cook this in a 10 inch Dutch oven at about 425 degrees. When you're cooking with coals in a Dutch oven, instead of your oven, it's a little kind of a trick to get that temperature up there and you gotta keep an eye on it and watch it. All right, we'll be with you shortly and I'll show you putting this all together. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put my mixture of flour and herbs and baking powder and all in here. And I have a cup of, no, excuse me, a half a cup, which is one stick of real butter. I've gone ahead and, and sliced that up into little cubes here. And you can eat, use a pastry blender or a fork, whatever you want to use to mix this together. But guess what? My hands are clean. And I'm going to go ahead, because this is what I like to do, is just kind of get that butter worked into that flour. It's going to take a little bit to do this. But anyway, after I get that all mixed together real well, so it's kind of pea-sizing your flour, then I'm going to put in two cups of buttermilk and mix that together real well. And then we'll be cutting these out. So we'll be back with you in just a few minutes here. Okay, as you can see, I've got the butter all in here really well. And now I'm going to add my two cups of buttermilk. And you just kind of pour this in the middle. This is one of these, as my daughter would describe it. I love her the way she describes things. But she says, Mom, that's another wonderful, easy peasy, yummy recipes. And yes, it is. Of course, I always fix this for them when they're around, and we always do this up in the mountains when we're camping. Well, not always, but pretty often, because it is easy. And there's different variations that you can do with buttermilk biscuits. You can add cheese, you can add anything you want to add. Now, you do not want to overmix this. We just want to mix this real well, get that all mixed well. And then I'm going to cut these out. And I'm going to show you what I cut my biscuits out with, because guess what? I don't have a cutter with me today. So, like I normally do when we're up camping, because you don't always have all of the conveniences and things that you have in your home, I'm going to cut it with a glass. And, and I always bring a little bag of flour, you know, putting this out on my cutting board here. Kind of spread that out there. I'm going to mix this just a bit more. You know, if you don't want to do this out camping or do it in a Dutch oven, guess what? You can do anything like this in your oven. Just remember it would be 425 for 12 to 14 minutes. Oh, this is the fun part, getting your hands in there. You can use a rolling pin to do this, but you know, really you don't need to. Now I have the perfect size little glass that I love to use. And what you do is you just do this, kind of turn it around. You know, when I was little, I watched my mother do this all the time. My goodness, and her baking powder biscuits were to die for. They were heavenly. She's not with us today. She's looking down on me, smiling, I know. And now we're going to put this in this 10-inch Dutch oven that I have lined with parchment paper. That just makes it a lot easier for cleanup. I bet you wished you were here with us today. 
And then, of course, we're going to make have this with a wonderful Italian meal later on. Now, when I get these all done and get them in here, what I'm going to do is brush them with some melted butter. You know, it's all about the butter. Forget that butter, you're in trouble. Actually, it helps brown your biscuits and they do look really beautiful. And there's enough dough here that I'm gonna have two, two batches of these going. See how easy this is and fun it is? And oh my goodness, do we love them. This is a fun thing for the grandkids to help do too. They love doing this getting their little hands in the dough. Okay, that's enough for my 10 inch Dutch oven here. We'll make up these here in a little bit, finish making them out. Now I'm gonna brush the top just with melted butter. And the other thing is this really does help to brown them. They just really brown very, very nice. join us with us today and subscribe we would love that and if you subscribe there's a little icon that you can click on to it's like a little bell there and what that alerts you to is every Tuesday we have another wonderful fun video coming out and oh my goodness do we have a lot of fun ones okay we're gonna go over here and put this over our coals here in a little bit they're just getting hot here my wonderful husband is getting that ready for us I'm going to get my hands cleaned up. There we go. Boy, as you can see, our baking powder biscuits got done. It took a little bit longer, but you know, it's always the elements sometimes when you're out in the weather. But anyway, they turned out absolutely perfect. And this is another fun thing that we have noticed that is great. See, when you take them out of your Dutch oven, you can just lift them by the parchment paper. You're not getting yourself burned. We're going to enjoy this later with a beautiful Italian meal I've got going on. And we, I wanted to let you know that we also have a website. It's wyomingdutchovencooking.com. If you go to that website, it's got a lot of fun things and a lot of special ways to use and take care of your, your cast iron, whether it's a Dutch oven, a grill, a griddle, whatever you have. And then there's also some free recipes there. And also there's a lot of fun things we like to use, like an enamel Dutch oven, which is really great to use in your kitchen in your oven. And it's just a lot of fun spices and things. So we hope you enjoy that and go to that. And of course our motto is, great food shared with family and friends equals great times until we meet again. Thank you.